This video is sponsored by Squarespace. You can make your own beautiful website or online store with this all-in-one platform. Hi everyone, time for another new video and this one we're going to be drawing tons of cute little duckies in my sketchbook. I actually fill a whole spread in this video and I had a lot of fun drawing these little colorful ducks. I think my favorite part was painting the grass and I'm using the Royal Talons Art Creation sketchbook in like the light purple. It's not the smallest size but it's one of the smaller ones because I wanted to try a smaller sketchbook th this time around and so many of you recommended this sketchbook to me and I've been loving it and it's not really meant for watercolor but I use watercolor in it and it's fine for sketching. Um, I wouldn't do like a like a multi-layered intense watercolor painting but it works for adding some color and just like casually using watercolor. And this is going to be uh, June's package for Patreon if you want to grab a ducky sketchbook print. There'll be a, a cute duck print. I don't think it is. It will be ready when this video comes out, but there'll also be a sticker. And it's going to be all about cute little ducks. And I have a lot of thoughts that I want to talk about in this video relating to art and YouTube and posting online as an artist. Um, basically, relating to me and YouTube. And first of all, I'm not quitting YouTube. I know so many people have been like retiring, but I don't see myself quitting YouTube. It's just like, I like sharing my art with people. I like showing my process. And I, I know that a lot of people appreciate my videos and I like to be on this platform. But the way I look at filming and um, editing and like posting all my art has changed a lot. I've been on YouTube since... 2013 and I was in grade 9 when I started my channel and I actually just before recording this video I went through all of my old YouTube videos I didn't watch them all but I was just scrolling just to see what I've done and like the slow progression of my channel and how I grew it and where I am today and um, it was kind of interesting to see like my oldest videos have a couple hundred views Every once in a while, one would get a thousand. And then suddenly there's one with like a hundred thousand views. And then there's there's like one with only a thousand, one with like 800, which, which are low views for me. They might be high for certain channels, but I think on average, I get like at least 10,000 views on my videos if I'm lucky, 30,000. It's not all about the views, but I've been feeling weird about YouTube and views lately. And I don't really talk about it a lot because I think it's kind of weird when well it's not weird people can voice their concerns about you know numbers and art and social media um but when someone's like my videos don't get enough views you're like well i'm watching the video like am i not a valued fan you know what i mean um but i was just i was just researching into my channel's past just to see like when did my channel take off? Because there was a moment in time where every video I posted would get so many views and that was super motivating. And I think I was in art school at the time and I was posting so many videos. I think before art school, I was posting videos twice a week. And I remember just having so much like energy for it and enthusiasm. And um, I don't remember looking at the views as much as I do now. Um, I don't know. I think something switched in my brain after doing YouTube for so long in art school, I got really burnt out at one point. And if you've been following me for a while, you probably remember I took many months off of YouTube, which was strange for me because I never took uh, like breaks like that. Like I remember one time I missed a video. I, I missed a week of posting a video and I posted like a secret speed paint video that people could watch to make up for it. And now I just kind of post twice a week whenever. I don't have a set upload date. I don't have a set like schedule. Um, I try to post two videos a month when I have the time. But sometimes like YouTube has this app where it's the YouTube like creator studio, the YouTube studio app, and it's on your phone. And when you post a video, it shows you how well your video is doing ranked next to your 10 most recent videos. So if it hits number one, you're like, wow, my video is doing better than usual for how many views it's getting in the first few minutes or the first like hour or two hours or the first day. And if it's doing 10 out of 10, it's like, well, I guess something flopped here and I'm not really sure why. And I think that app has like 
made me pay more attention to the views than normal. But going through my channel and like looking at all the numbers, I feel like my channel actually has been more consistent than I thought. And it sort of put everything into perspective. Like there's going to be high moments and there's going to be low moments when you're posting your art online. And I, I think if if you stay consistent with things and try to make sure you're like putting out things that you are enjoying and that you actually believe in, um, it'll be easier to post more and you'll get through the low periods because I think my channel at the moment is in sort of a dip where nothing is really like reaching beyond my viewer base, which is okay because I'm I'm very lucky to have the viewer base that I do and to have like at least 10,000 people click on my video. Like that's crazy. When you put that into perspective, that's that's such a, a blessing to have so many eyes on your work. Um, and I think like my last really well performing video, I don't know, when, when was that? Okay, it was probably like my sketchbook tour, which was only four months ago. Um, but the last one that did really well was seven months ago when I talked about drawing animals and then another one when I talked about having fun sketching. But then in between the big videos are ones that get on my lowest end of views. So. Basically, I don't really know what the point of this video is. I just kind of want to talk about what I've been feeling about posting art online and like what goes through my head when I'm thinking about all this stuff because when I look at other artists, I assume that they like I don't think about like what are their own like worries and insecurities when it comes to their channel or their their art account. Like what are they thinking about because on the outside it looks like they're doing great, like they're posting a lot, their videos look great to me and like I don't really focus on their views. But the people who post videos, they look at their own views. Obviously, it's not only about the views, but that's the topic that's sort of on my mind today. Now for a quick break to thank this video's sponsor, which is Squarespace. If you want to make your own website, I would definitely recommend checking out Squarespace. It's really easy to get started by choosing one of their pre-built templates. I always like to choose a template to start, um, especially because you can customize it and change the colors and the fonts and add lots of different things to make it unique to your own brand or your art. You can make it as complicated or simple as you want. My website is pretty simple. I like it to be easy for people to navigate where I have a portfolio tab with all of my art and it's really easy to add all your art to Squarespace. You just upload all of your files, drag and drop them in one of their portfolios and galleries, and then they're all displayed beside each other with their automatic image scaling. I also have an about page where you can type up a little blurb, a little bio, add a photo. You can drag and drop things on the page thanks to their fluid engine editor which means everything sits on a grid if you like to start your own website or portfolio or shop definitely check out squarespace go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you want to launch go to squarespace.com slash to get 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain and then i was also thinking about how making videos is so much more tiring than it used to be for me um I don't really know why. I mean, I think it makes sense because I've been doing this for so long that like it, it takes a lot of a lot of energy for me to actually like record my voice. It's mostly my voice that I struggle with. Like I, I feel like my voice has actually gotten weaker, like physically, like it's physically harder to talk for a long period of time. Um, like my vocal cords. I, I don't know. I have th this like weird squeak that happens in my throat sometimes that I have to edit out all the time when I'm recording and I think it's because I don't project enough like I'm speaking too much in my head like with my head voice that's another thing that I that I noticed that it's like I don't know what's going on there but um I want to keep making videos and I will keep making videos this is just sort of like where my head is at with everything at the moment what gives me the most joy and also the most stress, but the most joy. Um, creating new products for my shop, designing products, thinking about cute little things that I can bring into the world that people can purchase and like knowing that someone wants something that I've created, like they want it as a possession because they like it, is very inspiring. Like I just want to give that sort of like joy to people and to create cool like tangible items. But I also want to draw in my sketchbook and show interesting art and just like talk about the art process. I don't know if there's like a thesis statement to this video. I drew a lot of really cute ducks 
that's kind of all like I wanted to show. But then I was like thinking about my channel. I was scrolling through all my old videos and it kind of gave me like a like a perspective of like, okay, maybe I am doing fine. Because it's really easy to get insecure about your like analytics and people talk about it a lot and people might get tired of hearing about it. But I just thought, you know, if someone out there is posting and they're feeling insecure, just know that like if there's someone you watch, they probably also feel insecure and like everyone has their own insecurities about their accounts and like what they post and their numbers. So I just wanted to let people know that they're not alone if they feel that way. And um, every time someone else talks about their like own problems with things, it always makes me feel better because I know I'm not alone. On the flip side, I really like posting on Instagram right now. Um, I feel like the algorithm is favoring me a little bit for a while um, because I'm posting reels and reels are like mini videos. And because I'm used to doing long, long form content on YouTube, reels are way easier for me to make. And I can turn my long form videos into little reels so that people can see little clips of me sketching and everything just kind of feeds into each other. So definitely post reels if you're on Instagram and you're trying to grow an art account. My reels always do so much better. They're good for reaching people that don't follow you. And then posts and stories are good for connecting with your current audience. That's how I use it anyway. I also kind of wanted to pick up a series that I used to make called like uh, Ways to Fill Your Sketchbook or something. And it was based on a bunch of prompts that I got from people who watch my videos and like viewers. People would submit prompts. I write them down on little pieces of paper, fold them up, put them in a jar. I still have them actually. Um, and I would pull one out and do a video. And I liked that series, but I got tired of filming it because I got tired of almost like having an assignment or a challenge. I'm not really someone who likes to be forced to draw things, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, it sort of makes it feel like I'm back in art school and like, okay, your assignment is to do this and then you have to do it. Um, I think I'm at the point in my art journey where I want to draw things that I want to draw because if I'm doing the things that I actually want to be doing, I have more fun doing them and I think the final product turned out better anyways. Not that I don't want to draw your prompts. Like, I did have fun. It was a nice challenge, but sometimes I just don't want to be challenged. <laughs> Um, so I kind of want to revive that series in a different way where I show you what I want to be drawing that day. It's just going to be like sketchbook sessions, but maybe more focus on here's something you can draw on your sketchbook. I'm not sure. That's just something I've been thinking about. That's a lot of random thoughts all stringed together about my current thoughts on YouTube and being an artist and posting on YouTube. It's literally just a stream of consciousness. So... I hope you enjoyed. I think YouTube is a great way to connect with people um, on a deeper level than Instagram and not in a parasocial way, in a way where it's long form content. You can like indulge in it for longer. I don't know. I make 15 minute long videos on average. So someone can sit down and see your work for a longer period of time and see your whole process. And it's kind of like slowed down, more cozy than like Instagram and stuff like that. Um, so that's what YouTube is really good for. And if you're wanting to start your own channel, I would definitely recommend it. Just make sure you do things that you want to do and don't like force yourself to film things that you don't enjoy filming. Because I think like when I was first trying to grow my channel, I did a lot of challenges that definitely helped my channel grow, but they weren't always things that I wanted to be doing. I don't know. Sometimes it was necessary to sort of jump on trends because it would grow your channel. Um, but if you do those all the time, you get really burnt out and it kind of feels like you're just sort of forcing yourself to film things or to draw things. Um, so these days I kind of just like to do whatever is on my mind and that's what I've been doing for a long time. And that doesn't always lead to videos that do extremely well, but it, it is easier for me to create these types of videos. So those are my current thoughts on YouTube. I just wanted to have something to talk about while you watch me draw these little ducks it's going to be available as a print on Patreon for the month of June. As I mentioned, I also recently updated my shop with the lanyards and wrist lanyards with little keychains and a whale shark sticker that people are loving and um, some new prints, two new sticker sheets, washi tape, lots of stuff you can check out on my store. Thank you so much for watching and hearing my thoughts, incoherent thoughts <laughs> about this platform and where I'm at. But I will stay with YouTube. It's part of me, you know? I have 
almost 500 videos, you know? I can't, I can't stop now. So uh, thank you so much for watching this one and I'll see you in my next video.